and welcome back to the grand finale of Clock Tower 3. So wait, is this why this game is called Clock Tower? Yeah, uh-huh. That's a symbolic meaning. Oh, okay. So, we could have walked up these stairs before, but it would have been a dead end. But now, the final subordinates have been killed, and we are able to move forward into the clock tower proper. Uh, 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 Charps, I hate to tell you this, but it looks like it's still a dead end. Uh, uh, Charps, <laughs> watch out! Oh, no, no, no. Look, don't worry about it. Uh... Alyssa's learned a lot. Like how to jump. And right. she fell into the void. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, she is just gonna jump. Oh, oh. No, you're going down. You're supposed to go up. No, see, we had to do this so we could lift up. The animation on that was very noticeably, like, with how clearly mocap everything else was, that was not <laughs> uh -huh. mocap. Yeah. Anyways, welcome to Gear Town. I wish you just didn't pick up that arrow. <laughs> no, we're gonna need them all right now. So. Yeah, he's gotta use them all for the final boss. He's gonna beat him in like five seconds and be like, ah, oh, I'm a pro gamer, guys. Chorps, if you end up not using any of those arrows anyway, I'm going to bully you so much. I can't believe you're just trying to get a upskirt, you you perv. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Cut that. No, cut uh, controlling that. this is hard. It, it becomes pretty tank controly when you're crawling, and it's really hard to figure out where <laughs> you're supposed to go. Sure. It's so hard, guys. There there are a lot of weird barriers on things. In this is this the section. real final challenge. Exactly. The final subordinate was the clock tower proper. <laughs> yeah, so we learned last time that the blobby man himself was our grandfather, overcome with the spirit of a man named Lord Burroughs. Yeah, that sounds like a fat guy's name. <laughs> <laughs> and now we must kill him in combat, which is why we're picking up all these arrows, I promise. Now they're just fucking littering everywhere. We're gonna steal our granddad's heart. It's gonna be really ironic. Lord Burroughs <laughs> or his online handle, the fat gamer. <laughs> What's up, game fam? It's me, Big Guy Gamer here, <laughs> with another haul. In, in this episode, I try to steal my daughter's heart. <laughs> oh, I missed it this time. See you in 15 years when I have another one. The most ambitious grocery haul yet. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so there's one last puzzle to do before we get to the end. But really, right. it's just hitting levers in an order. I like this gear that, like, shoots a ladder up. That's cool. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, no, this is great. Look, we're taking full advantage of the clock tower setting. If this was mocap, she would have just, like walked up the ladder, like, just sideways, <laughs> completely Just rolled parallel. up it. Yeah. Like Sonic the Hedgehog? <laughs> yeah, walked on the side of it like a tightrope. <laughs> Anyways, we've got one last save that we can make here, and we better make it count. Oh, do we get to ride the gears now? This is yeah. full Castlevania. Yeah, now we don't have to climb under them, we get to walk on top of them. So, Chirps, you have not been in any danger so far, right? Nope. Not even a little bit. Ah, I don't know, this looks precarious. I didn't have to do that. <laughs> that was all mo-capped. I mean, if she died there, that would be entirely her own fault.
Grandpa. I've been waiting for you, Elisa. You don't know how hard I tried to find Butter's castle in order to become one with you. I searched and searched for three years, and at last I found it. Butter's castle used to stand in exactly the same spot where the Hamilton house is now. It's not a coincidence. It's all the entities doing. This is our destiny. Grandpa! Don't look so sad. Once the ritual of engagement is complete, you and I will become a new entity, and we can be together forever. No! Please, Grandpa, come to your senses and give me my mum back. Your mum? Your mother is right there. Mum? Nancy betrayed me more than once. She married that weak, lily-livered, good-for-nothing Philip. And then she tried to prevent me from becoming one with my most precious granddaughter. That's why she's there. There was no other way, Alyssa. Damn you! You're not my grandfather. I don't know who you are anymore. But I know that I'm a ruder. I'll destroy you and save my mother. Fool! Fool! In a few minutes, the clock will strike twelve, announcing the arrival of your fifteenth birthday. Then, the ritual of engagement will commence! <laughs> now, Elisa! Time to lie down on the altar and prepare to surrender your heart to me! Alyssa! Where are you, Alyssa? Alyssa! Dennis! Alyssa! Dennis! Give up, Alyssa! No one can help you now. <laughs> Not even your dear mother. <laughs> All hail, entities of the earth. Burroughs and I will now carry out the ritual to become a new entity. Ghosts haunting the human realm, subordinates dwelling in the shadows. Gather here to witness the glorious ritual of engagement. Yadohe, Adohe, Adonai, 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 the time has come at last, my dearest Alyssa. Merge into one entity with me, so that we can be together forever!
and welcome to the final battle against the Lord Burrows. <laughs> wow, this guy has sent us to lo longer when the Oath was around. <laughs> and he has two health bars. Now, there's a gimmick to this fight, oh, and no. I'm using the first fight to show it off. He can catch us in chains just like we can with the other subordinates. And like the uh, like we do, when he gets so many chains against us, he has his own final move. Oh no! <laughs> so you're gonna lose this fight and then show up and then like we Look have to watch this. that cutscene again. Oh my god! Look at this! <laughs> Wait, that's just the skeleton doing, like, the, the, the older sibling, like, spit thing. Like, oh, <laughs> I'm gonna drop it on you. Yeah, he's just throwing a loogie at us. So that is an instant kill. I thought this would be the perfect time to show off the game over screen. No other enemy has this, so I thought it'd be a good time to show it off. So right. we have to be careful with his attacks. We have to make sure we don't get hit by those chain attacks. More than three times. Preferably not at all, but I'm not very good at this fight. <laughs> I'm a little underwhelmed by the game over screen, honestly. Yeah, well, bit. I mean, you're used to playing Total Distortion. True. <laughs> right. If there was like a song sung by your grandfather, way different. So the main <laughs> thing you do in this fight is you just duck under its attack. <laughs> yeah, fucking goddammit. <laughs> because as long as you're far enough away, at least for a significant portion of the fight, he only has this attack and close range attacks, so you can kind of just, like, do this over and over. <laughs> and the timing, very generous yeah. on what it counts as you dodging the attack. So, yeah, like... And now I now this is where I just use all of the special arrows, um, because it is possible to catch him in like uh, enough chains to do an attack. I don't quite pull it off, but it is technically possible. I didn't realize how many arrows you had throughout the game. <laughs> yeah. So the issue here is that he has a new attack now that he's a quarter of the way through his health bar, which creates like a pool of blood or something and if you get it's caught in it lobby man <laughs> and if you get caught in it it doesn't like do much damage but it will get you stuck in the place which gives him enough time to hit you with the chain and he'll say like there's no escape when you do it so you have a little bit of time to react but yeah so as the fight goes you do in fact have new obstacles to face so the red arrows create a chain. Uh, what do the green arrows do? So, the green arrows are repellent arrows. And what they do is they push an enemy back pretty far while also doing uh, decent damage. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, now you're gonna show off the close quarters <laughs> combat. Yeah, see? Look. Oh, that gives them more health. Yeah, so uh, don't do that. It's like he murdered half a person. So you can dodge out of the way of his chain attacks, but sometimes, like you just saw, he shoots out three of them at a time. So it is smarter to uh, to duck under them. If only Alyssa could shoot an arrow from the prone position, she'd be invincible. Uh, Basically. Does he only shoot out those three at a time if he, like, drains some of your health? I don't... No, quite. It seems pretty random. I I'm not sure if there is, like, a trigger for it. And so, yeah, this is where it gets dangerous, is, like, if he uses the chain attack and then also his, like, goo attack, it becomes really hard to get out of the way because you only have a limited amount of space to run around in. Yeah, it seems like you don't have a lot of opportunity to, like, chain him, either. Yeah, so you have, like... <laughs> oh, she's skanking! She's skanking! <laughs> also, I never want to hear about the, the Blobby Man's goo attack ever again. <laughs> so yeah, it's very easy in this fight to, like, get overwhelmed if you get hit by one attack, because it, it can end up that it just keeps happening over and over. Right, he's got combos. Exactly. 
So is the reason why this video is 35 minutes because you spend 25 minutes fighting this boss? Uh, you know, maybe a little bit. I mean, we're not even halfway, so... Oh, we're close. So you can, like, like the other bosses, you can knock him out of his attacks, but the amount of time he has between attacks is generally not long enough for that. But sometimes he'll, like, laugh and go, ah, ha, ha, and waste time, and then you could probably do it. But for the most part, you're shooting, like, kind of weak arrows in order to uh, get consistent damage on him. Right. Look, this is not survival horror. It's supposed to be scary. It's overwhelming. Exactly. And nothing scarier than your grandpa not only turning out to be, like, a huge fat guy who's taken over your house, but then also, like, a fucking 16th century lord <laughs> who's really into murdering his own daughter. I mean, it's also kind of impressive, at least. Mm hmm So there's the final attack he does. It's just like a big energy beam shooting out of him, like in a ring. And as long as you're far enough away, it doesn't matter. Again, you can also knock him out of it with a fully charged arrow, but like, as long as you're on the other side of the room, you're basically fine. So like, We've talked a lot about how the Blobby Man is a terrible house guest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you think he's a worse house guest than Lord Burroughs? <laughs> I feel like Lord Burroughs, like, not only does he eat all the food in the refrigerator, like, he unplugs it, it's like, oh, it was all gonna go bad, so I had to eat it. <laughs> also, I don't understand technology. <laughs> Alyssa, <laughs> Alyssa, how do I play Fortnite? <laughs> I know what a Fortnite is, but not on the iPad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think if Lord Burroughs comes into your house, he sees your electronics and immediately murders you for being a witch. <laughs> See, my thought with Lord Burroughs is like, he's kind of like the horny grandpa where he can't really hold it in anymore because he's too old to give a shit. Except instead of being horny, he really wants you to know how much he wants to murder you. <laughs> He's like, oh, it would be a damn shame if you fell down the stairs and your heart fell out, wouldn't it be? As he's, like, pushing you. I mean, still <laughs> less problematic, honestly. Mm, yeah, maybe you're right. Sort of. Because, like, Dick turned out to be a, a kind of a horny grandpa. At least kind of felt that way. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I feel like Horny Grandpa was the worst Bam Margera movie. <laughs> Again, after a certain amount of health, he also includes this new attack that's just him going ready to give up, and he just, like, flips his hair, it's and it gives you perfect time to carry him. Yeah, but, like, why does he do it so often? He's also just getting tired. <laughs> he needs a break. Look, he thinks he's playing the OP character. Little does he know that um, our brains are OP. <laughs> I'm not as young as I used to be, Alyssa. He's like, did I tell her that she better give up yet? I, I better just tell her again, just to make sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm not positive, but I want her to know that she's supposed to give up. So, hey, Turks, I have a question. Have you ever seen someone pull up, like, the super attack on this boss? Um, yes, and it requires you to basically, like, collect, um, only the, uh, binding arrows. Oh, because... because Right. Then you get a whole bunch of chains in a row, and you can pull it off. It's very hard, to the point that it might as well be impossible, but it is technically possible to do. You can't, like, rearrange your arrows in the menu or something? Not as far as I could tell. You just have them in the order you pick them up. You should have, like, the, the inventory briefcase from Resident Evil 4, but it's just all arrows. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to Tetris them together. If you put them in sideways, you have to make sure you pull them out and, like, rotate the stick in order to get them to be in the right order. Oh. Otherwise, it just shoots downwards. <laughs> Alyssa accidentally shoots herself with the arrow. She, she's holding it backwards. She actually shoots Dennis because he's still hanging off the ledge or whatever. Hell yeah. I'm down for that alternate ending. <laughs> Dennis has been mulched by these gears now. That's like the secret Hunter good ending. Hunter 3 2 should be like brothers where you control Alyssa and Dennis at the same time, but, but Dennis just never goes where you tell him to. 
<laughs> and he doesn't even fall like the opposite either. It's just random. So you're basically saying that Dennis is a sim. Like you yeah. think that uh, like they're both controlled with uh, like one analog stick each, but like Dennis is actually like the PlayStation 3 six axis like motion controls. <laughs> <laughs> You have to control them with, like, the PS4's, like, touchpad. You have to use, like, a fucking Sega activator or something. <laughs> <laughs> right, but only, you, you could only do, like, crazy Dennis motions to make it work. <laughs> you have to control Alyssa with a controller, and you have to control Dennis with a PlayStation move. <laughs> so what do you think Dennis' adventures were like while we were chased by serial killers? Personally, I think he was chased by Wile E. Coyote. Yeah, he kept accidentally not falling into traps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'll just go through this hole in the wall, and then Wily Coyote gets there, and he's like, wait a minute, this is just painted on. Yeah, yeah he <laughs> ran into that painting of the horse, and then Wily Coyote <laughs> tried it and got squashed into a penny. <laughs> I like the... You accidentally said Wily Coyote, which I like a lot. <laughs> Well, he has to fight the giant Roadrunners. I'm gonna get that lastly windmill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this boss fight's long, as you may uh -huh. have noticed. <laughs> but how scared were you during it? Uh, pretty terrified. Pretty terrified because it's, again, it's really easy to get caught in the loop if you're not careful. Mm -hmm. So, it's just, you know, it can be difficult to, uh, to, to stay calm during this fight. Because this definitely was not my second try. Oh, is this my, when my favorite part happens? Uh, we're coming up to my favorite part of the boss fight soon. No escape. Oh, your favorite part wasn't, um, Puddle of Blood or whatever? No. Uh, Puddle of Blood, my favorite, um, death metal Puddle of Mud cover band, though. I love his calm, just strut, just like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, no, he's real casual about it. Like, almost slightly awkward in how stiff his, uh, his movements are. They definitely did not mocap this man. They're like, no, there's no way. No one can ever look like this. <laughs> I love the, like, back and forth that this implies. <laughs> Even though it's just, like, mostly really sad on his end. I mean, like, if he got you in, like, one of his, like, happy birthdays or whatever, like, it'd be yeah, <laughs> upsetting. Yeah, you're right. He's gonna show wrong. you where the curly mustache is at. <laughs> oh my god! Whoa. So also, he can walk over the holes, because fuck him. <laughs> is that your favorite part? No, this is my favorite part where I get caught in an infinite loop with this attack because the blood mo thing moves you, and now I'm too far away from the original chain, oh. so I'm constantly in a state of falling over, and I got really <laughs> scared I was gonna die there. Man. I got incredibly scared. <laughs> you, you would not believe how much I was, like, shaking with my controller in my hand yes, at that point. Yes, I could just feel the sweaty controller in this boss <laughs> fight. Because as soon as he hits you with that third one, you immediately get hit with the, the instant kill attack. And I was, as you can see, like, 15 minutes into this fight. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Got him. Alyssa, my dearest Alyssa, you always were a spirited child, but that's enough. Now be a good girl and grab my hand. 
What's the matter, Alyssa? Don't you want to live happily with me for all eternity? So, again, don't put your fucking controller down, because like you you've got one more gameplay sequence and he starts in an overwhelming advantage against you? Fucking hell. Wait a minute, you don't have a bow and arrow, do you? So if you lose this, do you have to start all over? Yes! Fuck. Also, I like that he can talk over himself, I think that's really good. But yeah, so what you need to do is you need to run around to get to your mother's broken statue body. <laughs> Give up, Grandfather. I won't allow the ritual to happen. Uh, never! And so, that's the end of Clock Tower 3. What did everyone think? <laughs> Clock Tower 3 uh, fucking rules. Wait, so is her mom still dead, or...? Yeah, no, Clock... Th I'm don't worry, she's dead. <laughs> oh. Well, wait, yeah. I would prefer for her to be alive, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it, she's dead. Don't worry about Thanks, it. Thanks, Cozy Kubo. <laughs> I have, uh... A lot of conflicted feelings about this game because I'm one of those sickos who really likes the original Clock Tower, but also, despite the fact that this game is kind of bad, it's also really great. Right, like my conflicted feelings are on one hand, it's good, on the other hand, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, my feelings for it are very much like, I didn't have to play it, so it's fucking great. Yeah, it's like, it has a lot of weaknesses that come from it being a lot like other survival horror games, but not quite as good. Like, I think the puzzle design is pretty bad and stuff, but like, 
the actual gameplay loop pretty good still a good idea to have like your character has to run from the enemies like you literally can't fight back until you can yeah then you fight back in a very non-horror way <laughs> yeah it owns <laughs> And, yeah, I I had a lot of fun with this because it's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. So, if they did make a Clock Tower 4, what would you want from it? Uh, mm, for it Dennis. to be better than Nightcry? Dennis would die immediately. Yeah, also for it to be better than Nightcry is a pretty good ass. Okay, also what if that, it was yeah. Nightcry, but Dennis was the guy who got eaten by a vending machine? That would, <laughs> it would be worse, because you would only have, like, five minutes of Dennis. <laughs> right, but the game ends after that. Uh, oh, then it's perfect. Yeah, okay, that's yeah. good. Yeah, so I I really think this game's good. Like, it, it definitely isn't the other Clock Tower games. No. Which I understand why people are mad about that. But, like, man, it's got such a a charm to it that Kenji Fukusagu brought to, like, the directing and everything. The story is just batshit in a way that's really entertaining to watch unfold. All the murderers are really cool. Yeah. Like, the cutscene direction of this game really feels when you, like, have hypothermia and you're gonna die in five days. It's got, like, a real good, like, campy J-horror sort of vibe. Mm Mm-hmm. And, like, it was successful at being, like, kind of creepy exactly once, but every other time it's got that, like, perfect sort of camp to it that I thought was really entertaining. I yeah. have never seen any J.R. movies. Are they, like, known for being very, like, overly animated? It depends. Um, it, it depends, honestly, but I feel like it's it's more representative of Japanese horror than, like, American horror to have sort of the -the over-the-top movements and everything. Like, to get the characters in on this sort of, like, unnatural sort of state. They had a ton of stunt performers in this game. I just want to... I want to let that sink in. Just, like, everybody. Like, I bet, like, all Dennis's acting was done by a stunt guy. Yeah, that first scene with Dennis, like, a lot of people must have gotten hurt doing that. Yeah, and it's, like, kind of unfortunate because I I went and listened to the the Japanese audio for that cutscene, and it's much clearer that, like, the acting fits the, the, the scene better, where, like, it's very clear that they were able to watch the scene and know how the characters were acting instead of just having to guess it like they probably did in the English release. So what, were they just, like, constantly out of breath? Yeah! It's a lot more like that. But there's still, like, an undeniable charm to the Britishness of the, the English release. Yeah, oh, I guess oh, you could... Yeah. yeah. And it feels appropriate because we're setting it in England, right? Yeah. Right. No. Unlike the other Clock Tower games, which are set in, like, I don't know, Belgium or something? Some other European country. Uh, I think... 1 and 2 are in Norway. Uh... Right, cool. And I think Ghost Hat is in the Japanese version, just in Japan, and the American version in California. Oh, okay. Yep. It's a real Ace Attorney sort of situation. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say that, but I couldn't remember if I made that joke earlier in this LP or not. <laughs> it's possible. Whereas, I'm gonna guess, like, the Japanese version of this game was still incredibly British. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I thought there was gonna be like one final scare where like the blobby man is like, "Oh, did uh, did you check for any packages for me?" <laughs> I had something coming in from Amazon earlier today. I told you to pick up the package of uh, adult diapers back in episode two, Alyssa. <laughs> also, I need my Lord Burroughs outfit. I mean. My normal renaissance outfit. <laughs> uh, also one last thing, Alyssa. I need you to dig a grave for me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask about it. Is this a lot of rooter points or, like, not all that many? Or <laughs> That's enough. There were points? You get the code name, uh, Chicken Little. 